our Kiara's wedding. We're so excited. It's actually gonna be a phone-free ceremony though, so I'm not gonna record any of that, but I just wanted to show you guys how beautiful everything looks. It's amazing. Um, how excited are you to finally celebrate them? Extremely. Me too. Where are we gonna rage tonight? A little too much. Just kidding. <laughs> just <laughs> just <laughs> Stilettos and grass don't mix, guys. For Kiara and Mike, anything is worth it. <laughs> it. That was the end of the ceremony. How did you guys feel about it? We like bawled our eyes out. Emotional. We were emotional. I was emotional. Stan was emotional. We were all like bawling our eyes out, but it was beautiful. Anyway, we're gonna wait to take some pictures. It's really pretty. So here's the venue. How gorge. How gorge. Do you like it? Oh, I thought you were gonna say I'm gorge. <laughs> well, you're gorge too. <laughs> it's like golden hour, so we're gonna get some cute pics. Ready? Okay, guys, both point your toes. Elongate those legs. Have you ever seen a better way to tell people what table they're sitting at? Hello. <laughs> Everyone's at table 12? Yes. Oh, we're all sitting together. Yeah. All right, cheers to Kiara and Mike. Best idea ever, but they have their signature cocktails named after their little dogs. I'm drinking a baggie, which is so delicious. I love it. I love it. Everybody say hi to the vlog. Welcome to their first dance of husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. Infante! Your love will be the compass of my heart. Oh, 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 Absolutely. Yes, I was bawling during the vows. We had so much fun dancing. They did such a good job planning good this. Good music. Yes, that's 100%. Absolutely. It was, the music actually slapped. Oh, oh yes, yes, 100%. This looks like a movie scene. 
true what they say. Once you start getting pierced, you start wanting to get more piercings. So if you remember from a vlog from about a couple months ago, I got my second lobe and then my rook up here. And I just went back and got a helix. Oh, Jesus, it's so sunny. And my second lobe over here. Honestly, I don't know what happened. Last time I got it, it was so, so painless and I was so happy with it. It actually hurt, especially the helix one. So now, we just grab some coffee. We're going to get some din-din. Yay. I'm very excited. Oh my god, this burger looks incredible. Gorgeous. How excited are you? How cute is this? On these on TikTok, and they are basically like espresso martini slushies. Cheers. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> someone stories and someone vlogs. All right, let's do a taste test. Wait, how do you drink this? Wait, like, cheers. Oh, yeah, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Just try it with some chocolate. This is really good. This is just like boozy, almost like ice cream. This is literally ice cream. <laughs> like, I want to eat this with a spoon. It's really good. Okay. In the summer, honestly, this is just what you need. What do you think? 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. I don't know. I have a cream mustache. I could back here for this. This is really good. Whoever came up with this deserves like a Nobel Peace Prize. Like, <laughs> Sincerely, your fellow espresso martini lovers. These were so good that we had to get round two. Cheers! Okay, when it ends with a trip to TJ Maxx. So nobody asked for this, but I'm gonna do a TJ Maxx haul because I'm very excited about my purchases. And did you guys know that this country is kind of wild and TJ Maxx already has Halloween decorations up in August? It's not even fall yet. Very excited. I couldn't resist. Yeah, it is capitalism. So, first things first, I got this cute little addition to my pompous grass. If you guys have seen me film in my bedroom, you know that I have a little vase with pompous grass already in there. So I got a little bit of a different texture just to balance the color. Then I got this little wicker basket because you can never have too many of these um, to organize stuff in my bathroom because I have too many products. This is what I couldn't resist buying. It's a Halloween dog toy and it's sort of like a puzzle where they have to like take out the little stuffed thingies in here because I think Teddy got, does really well with like interactive toys so I thought that was really cute. He's getting wiped down after his walk right now. Teddy, are you excited about your pumpkin? Teddy, I got you a pumpkin. I'm a crazy dog mom. I have to buy things for Teddy. So I bought him some treats for training. Got him some bones so that he doesn't chew on our furniture because that's the key to not getting your furniture chewed on is that you have to give your dog something else that's acceptable to chew on. And I finally got him a new water bowl because he had a habit of taking his water and just splashing it onto the floor. So I got him one where he can't really do that because his paws are too short to reach it. So hopefully that'll be good. But yeah, most of my stuff that I got is for Teddy. That's dog mom life for ya. The only thing I got for myself was my little pompous grass and then the little bathroom basket. So yeah, that's my TJ's haul. Um, I mean, the pompous grass is kind of for you. It's decoration in our bedroom. Is it? Yeah, sort of. Look at that. He's already trying to reach the pumpkin. Are you excited about your pumpkin? <laughs> so cute. Also, hi, it is nighttime, but I realized I forgot to do a piercing update, so it is now eight hours later. So, this one is doing pretty well, just like last time. This one, too, I gotta say, they were a little spicier this time when I got them pierced. Definitely experienced a little bit more discomfort, especially with the cartilage. So, I think after this experience, I'm not itching to get more right away. I think I'm pretty satisfied with how this ear is looking and how this ear is looking. I'm probably gonna eventually add to my ear scape but for now I think I'm satisfied and now I think it's gonna be a little trickier because last time I got both on the same ear and this time they're both on different ears can't really sleep on either side but that's totally fine like I'm good with sleeping on my back and I'm gonna try to be a little bit more diligent about the sea salt spray I know it's really tempting to rotate your piercings but you're apparently really not supposed to do that and I really want to avoid having a keloid here on the cartilage specifically 
so hopefully I'm better about that. Right now, neither of them are really giving me pain or discomfort, which I'm really happy about. It was the same experience last time. They weren't really hurting me in the moment. I think they only really bother if you're messing with them, which obviously don't, and like, make sure that your hands clean if you do touch them so yeah that's my piercing update that is the end of today's vlog it is now 12 30 and so i really should be going to bed because i have work tomorrow and i'll be taking you guys along with me so you guys will be able to see what i do as an ortho assistant so that should be really fun hopefully i get to show you some cool procedures that we do